Today I build two mega farms in Minecraft. Welcome back to the video everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw in the intro, today we are building two farms in our Minecraft world. One of them is going to be a wood farm and the other one is going to be a bone meal farm. I have a really big project coming up and these farms are going to be very beneficial to that project. As always, if you have any ideas about any future farms you want to see, please let me know or just any builds in general, please comment your ideas. The links to these farms that I use today and their creators are going to be in the description of the video, so if you find out that you want to build them yourselves, please check these guys out. Alright guys, let's enjoy the video. Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today our primary focus is going to be creating some new farms to help with a very special future build that we are going to start in this uh, Minecraft world. One of the things that I always hate doing is mining wood. I just, I, there's not a fast way to do it, you can't get like ultra, ultra speed like you can with stone, and I just don't like it. So today, we're going to build a wood farm and a bone meal farm to supply the wood farm. I'm thinking we do it in here, in this little, little industrial district, and eventually, I'm going to clear this area and make it a massive industrial district, that way we can keep everything together. The first thing we have to do is clear a space for this thing. Yeah, that should be a big enough area. Now we need to get the items that I'm going to show on the screen and we need to collect all of those in order to build. We should have most of them, but we might have to go get some. I just realized we need 64 sticky pistons. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I think we have some cobblestone though, so it shouldn't be too terrible. Yeah, we got cobblestone. We should be okay. We do need to go get more wood though. I'll just get it from clearing this out since we got to do it anyways. What am I out of stone? Oh, I just need to need more wood, I guess. Need a little bit more wood, but other than that, we're good. Easy, easy. Should be good on the pistons. I know we got the slime balls. Oh, we still need six regular pistons. Okay. Back. Nine. Wood. All right, we're about halfway done. I guess we're just gonna take apart this concrete farm since it doesn't work anyways. Okay guys, so I managed to get all the blocks that I will need, and it didn't take that long. It took about 20 minutes. It seems like it's going to be a pretty simple farm. However, since I am using a tutorial, I don't want to show you exactly how I'm going to build it, because I want you, if you want to build it, to go watch their video so you can show them some love shulker craft. I've used them before, so hopefully this turns out well. I'll show you some clips of me building, but I'll just mostly cut back to when to when we're all said and done. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, well, I didn't record that many clips, so I apologize for that, but I did complete the farm. I haven't tested it yet. I wanted y'all to be here for the test. So essentially how this farm works is you throw bone meal in this chest and flick this lever, and that starts the farm, and it should produce TNT coming down here. And then all you have to do is run in here and start placing saplings and it should work. So let's try it out. All right, flick that lever. Hell yeah, I love when farms don't work, don't y'all? Let's do some troubleshooting. So I put this block here instead of here. So maybe that's it? Yes, that was it. It works now. Thank goodness. Okay, we can turn this off and go to sleep. Okay, now let's go in here and place these saplings and see how well this farm works. I'll do this for about five minutes. 
Okay, it's been it's been a little under five minutes. It's probably been closer to three, but let's see what we're how we're doing so far. Interesting. How much have we gotten a lot of wood? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is from like this is from like three minutes of running the f Oh my goodness. How much how much bone meal have we used? It seems like we haven't used too much. Oh my gosh, that's amazing though. I'm just gonna run this until I run out of bone meal and then see how much wood we got. Alright, are y'all ready for the results? So, I ran the farm for about eight minutes before I ran out of bone meal. That's why we're gonna build a bone meal farm above this and it's gonna funnel down into that chest. But eight minutes worth of AFK. Guys, that is absolutely ridiculous. That's so amazing. I'm so happy with this. Now we just gotta build a really awesome bone meal farm so it can keep up with this. Okay guys, so I've been doing some researching and I think I found a bone meal farm that will be suitable to our needs. This farm with about, when it's fully stacked after bone meal, there's still some left in here, but about a double chest full of bone meal will give you about, let's say one and a half double chest of wood, which is insane. I found a farm uh, on YouTube by the Archivist, and I think it's going to be perfect for this design, so we're going to go ahead and build that up. I'll be sure to leave a link to this farm in the description if any of y'all want to check them out. They're actually really cool, so you should. But yeah, I'll get into building this farm, and y'all can watch me build it. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, I made a quick adjustment. Let's go ahead and try and start this again. That looks better. Looks much better. They're both going at the same time, so that's good. Also sounds like it's working, which is a good sign. All right, let's go up here and see if we can get any of this bone meal that's coming out. Yeah, okay, it's working, sweet. All right. The other thing we have to do now is AFK. This farm is a lot more complicated than it looks. I will say that because it was not easy to build by any means. But that's it guys. We got our bone meal farm built and we got our tree farm built. I'm really impressed with this thing. This thing also works on uh, birch and spruce logs as well. It's not just oak, which I only demonstrated because I like using oak. But yes, it works on three different types of wood, which is amazing. I think the real test will be we'll do a one hour AFK session and then we will wrap this video up. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's see how we're doing. My prediction is around nine stacks. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. That's a lot more than I expect. This farm is actually really good. I thought it was gonna be really slow by the first couple of stacks, but no, it picked up really nicely. I'm very happy with that. Now as this gets made we can continuously chuck it into our wood farm or for whatever else we need a bone meal farm it's perfect and that will be it for today's episode guys it's been a it's been a blast i've had a lot of fun making these two farms and they're both going to benefit us very greatly in our future builds and future worlds if you have any ideas for any other farms you want to see made in this world please let me know and i'll be sure to put them on the bucket list but that's all for now i hope i see you again in the next video and as always take care and much love <music>